your simplifiers. Welcome back to my organizing ABCs. Today we are on letter E and E is for effort. Now I'm pretty sure you're probably nervous thinking that I'm going to yell at you and tell you that you have to do this and this and this and that you should be doing this and this and this, but you're wrong. When I talk about E is for effort, what I'm saying is if you get organized, then you don't have to put as much effort into everything around your house. Let me explain. I, by nature, am not an organized person. There are people out there that are just naturally very inclined to being organized. I am in the other group of people. I know that I have a tendency towards being disorganized if I don't keep myself organized. So I feel like it gives me a lot of empathy toward my clients when they're struggling with time management issues or with getting rid of stuff or just falling behind in things because I am there, I have been there. I have been there since becoming a professional organizer. When I had my first child, it was an emergency C-section which I had not planned on and I didn't make the proper preparations for needing extra help around the house once my husband went back to work because I could basically lift the baby and that was it. Um, our house has several sets of stairs. I was having trouble getting up and down the stairs. I didn't plan for that well and because of that I fell behind on a lot of different things around the house. So I totally understand what it is like to have things come up, have life sort of smack you around a little bit, or just not have that tendency towards organizing and just find yourself falling further and further behind. But hopefully today I can give you sort of a glass half full look at organizing in the sense that if you put the time in, it will pay dividends down the road. Organizers like to call these things time investment. Time that you spend before organizing so that you will gain time on the other side. There are all kinds of examples of these sorts of time investments that you can use. Uh, things like making a grocery list, or if you want to get even more detailed, make a grocery list sort of in order of the grocery store that you go to. Keeping a family calendar so you know who is going where when. Hiring people to do things like clean your house or do your shopping for you. There are all kinds of little tasks that you can do to buy yourself time. The most important time investment that you can make in your home is to get rid of the stuff that you aren't using and you don't need. The less stuff you have, the less time you'll spend cleaning up, and the less time you'll spend looking for stuff when it's lost. Not to mention, visually, clutter around your house is gonna cause you to kinda go into this hole and look at it and think of all the stuff that you have to do that you're not doing. Put the time and effort into organizing your house now so that you can be, dare I say, lazy later. Thanks for watching today and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my organizing ABCs. And I will be back tomorrow with F is for false hopes.